Good job. Kate Harvey has brought her three little daughters, Allison, Jasmine, and Angelina, to do what might seem a daunting job, clean up the Mississippi River. By themselves, it would be. Oh, good, you got a shovel. But this is the annual extreme cleanup in the Quad Cities. And on this Saturday morning, 1,700 other volunteers are out here at 45 sites along the river doing the same. We've organized about... 40 to 50 people. We make it a big day to all get together and do this. Come on back, guys. You'll find junk aplenty. I'm picking up lots of paper and glass, more glass, and a lot of stuff. All this and a number of other cleanups that take place continually up and down the Mississippi happen because of the nonprofit organization Living Lands and Waters. And it started in 1998 as the dream of one young man. Today I found a very nice looking leg. That's kind of today's treasure. Fire in the hole. It is that sense of fun that rallies the troops. But Chad Pergracki has been on a deadly serious mission much of his life to get things out of the Mississippi River that don't belong there. I mean, 146,000 pounds what we got in three hours last year. Some things that they find in the river are supposed to be there. And uh, there's a turtle, got like pelvic bone. This is the top part of the jaw, and there's the bottom. Pogracki started his work alone. When I first started, I didn't realize the power of people. But clubs, groups, and just folks found him. And every year, the extreme cleanup has grown larger. And as it grew, the Mississippi has grown cleaner. River cleanup! Janie Keller and her daughters have been coming for four years now. How does it compare to the first time? It's an improvement and it's really good to see. If you don't care for your community, who does? We live here. For This American Land, I'm Bruce Burkhart.